Maybe we'll try reading some head-related things that I need to collect. Good thing is, the thief thing that I screwed up wasn't related to the head at all. Alright, what do we have here? When you met the big talker, did you notice the silent listener? That's super vague. You and the other plant could be best buds, and that would be the bee's knees. That might be a bit of a problem, because I don't have the bud head. And if that's what is needed for this, then oops. Thrice must the crescent bearer take flight. I'll hit something that has a moon on it three times. Cut the three who are in captive loose. Go two rounds at tea time. Those jaded eyes, those weary wings. That skin is hard as stone. All he really wanted was to be caressed. Probably just fight the rooster here. Pluck the bird and cook its goose. Oh no, that's the rooster. I don't know what this is then. Here's the uh, entree that will tickle your dinner. Guest pink. Uh, the last curtain only has one. And that's the boss, clearly. I, I'm definitely going to forget all of those hints. But hey. You'll just be able to make fun of me when we uh, go past one. So this should be the hedge mage, chase, mage maze. Deep into the chrono illogical land of time. Meanwhile, the Moonbear King was on to the witch, whose own dark intentions still hung on the air. This place looks fun. And so the story continues. So most of the heads are here. No world is complete without a clock tower, and the moon is no exception. But the hands of this clock are not used to tell time. They are used to shape children's dreams. Light Ooh, and magical. dark decide if it's a quarter to a nightmare, or half past a daydream, or ten till a rude awakening. To keep a stern watch over the clock, the moon goddess had chosen Mr. Pink. But that was before. When the white moonstone shattered, the clock spun into madness, and Mr. Pink went missing. I wonder who Mr. Pink is. Probably like a weird hippo or something. To bear or not to bear? Who is she, this witch who's after my moonstone? Why does she oppose me? She didn't Besides the, uh, the rabbit's she unicycle, I don't see any other dead like animal this. things, so that's good. Not fair. This is my moonsies. Nobody else can have it. Not that mean witch. That awful hag. Whoever she is, she's mean and, and I hate her. Have I seen her somewhere? Yes, that would explain it. Who is she? Where have I met her before? Wait. Yes. Mika. Of course. You're done, hag. Checkmate. <laughs> Katara, look out! These cards are about to fall! Oh yeah, I guess we're still in the danger time the zone. Kutaro's fall was a strange garden constructed like a maze. Well, look how lovely this little garden is. Primitive oh god. Size hedges were prankishly preventing Kutaro's progression. Of course, Kutro had prudently come pre-equipped with the proper pruners. Yeah, at least Kutro has scissors. Really, I hope you're happy. Oh, there's Mr. Oh, Pink. We found him. I don't like Mr. Pink anymore. He's a bit much. That's a guy that does. Oh, Lost soul, rude! Bear, Please give me my head back. The moon. Yes, yes, all very obvious, very clear to the naked eye. But you see, that's why I'm getting pernickety. You're being far too reckless. You probably ride your bicycle at night without a helmet. And do you really expect to defeat the Moon Bear King like that, really? But never mind. What's done is done. Milk spilt, not crying. Moving on. Corrective measures can be taken. Proverbial mop for the proverbial dairy disaster. Yes. 
he's, he's now, introductions. The names of Galahagrid, Mulberry, Time's a bit away. much. Got a appointed warden of the land of time, clock tower, slash watchman, slash general manager. I saw the rooster over there. Dream time, etc. ad infinitum. I know, lots of information to digest. Probably didn't catch it. Just call me GMT. It's a pun. Clever, you're sitting there. This is going all right. Is okay. it? Uh, but, uh, Mr. Ping? Okay. So, like, why were you hiding in the bush again? Ah, must we go over every detail? Clocks ticking, sand trickling out of the hourglass. Come on now. What the? Fine, here we go. There's a little, Class like, chipmunk in there. Have a seat, or stand, or hover, whatever. Basically, this all started with dreams. The goddess, because she's rather smart, decided that there should be a certain parity, that means equality, in how we interact with I like how he just kind of is their dreams, which going about. The construction of the clock tower, built by a watchmaker by the name of... For crying out loud! Can you just give us the abridged version? Oh, you talk faster than most sane people think. And we've got a lot to do. Shameful, simply lamentable, the attitude of our young people today, shrugging aside oh, the waiting. Didn't realize I was gonna just fall in the slime. Uh, but, uh, uh, Mr. Pink? Okay, so. Oh, we're just gonna listen to this again. That's fun. I was looking to see if I could find more spots where there's little gremlins. Trickling out of the hourglass. Come on, fine. Uh, fine. Here we go. Class is in session. Have a seat or stand or hover, whatever. A little, little dough started with stuck three. in the hedge. The goddess, because she's rather smart, decided that there should be a certain parity that means equality in how we interact with children in their dreams, which of course led to the construction of the clock tower built by a watchmaker by the name of. <laughs> I think if I fall, I'm gonna die here, so let's try not to fall. You talk faster than most sane people think, and we've got a lot to do. Shameful, simply lamentable, the attitude of our young people today, shrugging aside the weighty implications of their history and heritage, demanding instant gratification, reading spoilers of movies they haven't yet seen. Dreadful, this kind of rapid culture death. Just give the Moonbear King the edge, you know? No, us dying of boredom will give him the edge. Come on, don't tell me the great Mr. Pink doesn't know how to be con That clock controls... It just is so slow. All right, let's hedge up. Stop. Only I can operate it in the goddess's absence. Roulette wheel. That's fine. Where did you come from, fella? Shield up. To explain that too. All right. Twenty words. The bees. <sighs> he wants to permanently stop the clock hand. We got the bee. Midnight, but he needs me to do it. Right. That does sound bad. What happens if the hands stop at midnight? Dream time will be frozen at the darkest hour, never to flow again. In short. Yes, please. <laughs> In short, what? Apparently, I got too far away from everything. Uh oh, he got kidnapped. Oh no, Mr. Pink! Ah, uh, Harry, if the Moon Bear King uses me to stop that clock, we're all, we're all. And for once, Mr. Pink was at a loss for words. The last guardian of the clock tower was in Rooster's clutches, and the Moon Bear King was poised to plunge all the Earth's children into an eternal nightmare. Sounds bad. I would say that's probably not a good thing. Kutaro dashed through the verdant labyrinth, determined to free Mr. Pink from the diabolical General Rooster. I kind of like how goofy this place is. Like the hedges that move around. I think I have a bee related thing over here. Look at the ladybugs! Bees too! The ladybugs, I'm assuming, is the uh, other head because it has a crescent on it. Take me away, bees! Oh! What's he doing here? Uh, as I said, the moon bee king. A sweet little bee is here. Well, this casting is too ridiculous. Ran out of budget to have another beaver-laid person. This looks like I'm gonna Luckily, fail this. Oh, Moonbear King is a uh, bad for this. 
Now, lunar honeybees are known to sometimes carry moon sparkles back to their hive instead of nectar. By painstakingly it's kind of like an awkward the moon sparkles spot. Like so, yep, there I go. It's like that that one specific gem is just in a really awkward position because it's like a little bit under where I would end up being. It's fine. It wasn't that bad. I'll just do it again when we have Moon Bear. Quickly, lad! You must emancipate me, uh, which, as you know, more or less derived from Latin, meaning deliver from the hands of. It is, you must free me from General Rooster's... Elephant friend. Oh, I don't have an elephant head. I missed that. That's probably the one from the, um... Give, give me... Okay. The land of time's topiary garden was a magical place. The uh, elephant head was probably the one from the last level that I honestly think I just missed because of its location. Oh my gosh! Talk, talk, talk! Oh, lost ahead. Charles gonna ditch you if you don't stop polluting the air with your noise. Nobody likes the wise cracking motor mouth who flies around and tells people what to do. Trust me. Ladybug. I deal with people like that all Yeah, Ladybug. The time. I have a feeling our beloved audience knows exactly what Kikarina is talking about. Doing a bit better with the heads now, at least. Besides not having the elephant one to use. Is a bit of a shame, but we'll live. On through the verdant labyrinth, Kutaro dashed as Mr. Pink... What in blazes is taking so long? It's your fault I'm even in this predicament. You and your snip, snip, snip. Why don't I slice up Mr. Pink's disguise and ruin everything and destroy the world because I feel like it? Mr. Pink's very rude. The garden stretched on endlessly. Oh, you know what I just noticed? Dinosaurs. Yes. Oh, we just get it normally. Second only to the T-Rex on the dinosaur top 40. Whoa! Oh, babies! Look, it's one of these is Sarah. I see that, uh... I can't hurry much. I'm, I'm just on little babies. Saved you. Oh, tried a little bit. Alas, the, the baby's help. Was making Mr. Pink's rescue One fell in the tar pit, which is a bit upsetting, but whatever. Oh, the whale! I should have tried to hit the whale. Have a spot of tea, hun. In fact, have the whole leopard. Don't be ridiculous. Leopard huh. spots aren't made of tea. They're made of a special pigmentation. That, uh, in actual fact, is... Oh, look at this cat. Is that the Cheshire cat? Oh, look, there he goes. All right. My main worry is that there's going to be some stuff that I miss. Unwilling guest at General Rooster's afternoon tea. But there was no time to sit back and nibble on pastries. He had I'm kind of trying to, like, hit these more so than trying to speed through. Oh, the bread. Okay, the bread didn't get in my way. Save me, cat. Cat! You get cold, you have all the time in the world. Oh, yeah, tons. Kutaro tons of time. The path along General Rooster's trail of feathers and I'm not going to worry about that stuff up there. It's important for these sorts of functions to make the rounds and socialize a bit. Hit the teeth. One can't be rude and keep to oneself. Mm, I was hoping that would do something for me. It, oh, wait. There we go, we got the teacup, we just had to spin really fast. Where did I go? Okay, well, I I ended up falling to a better position, I guess. Nope. Oh, there was a stake. I, there, there was a couple of stuff there I probably should have hit. Damn, I'm a bit upset. I don't know if it would have been helpful, but... It's proper to give up your seats for the elderly and people who need them. Yeah, want I'm the not seats so to go sure in. My grandma would want this chair. Trying to help. I see you, cat. There he goes. Catting it up. I can't take it anymore. Can't we crash for just one second? 
Yeah, I guess we'll have a tea break. Oh, you do the spin around too. Ah, I should have known. I just don't care as much about these. I like using the hedge just because it's like, hey, we, we did the thing. Oh, I knew it. Oh, no, you still lose your head even if you shield up. Well, that's tragic. That makes me sad. Oh, oh. Jump. yeah, I almost didn't. General Rooster flapped away disdainfully every time Kutaro got close. The trail of feathers was leading our hero ever closer to the clock tower. Oh, yo, this is pretty cool looking. Yeah, I think there was a food related one I probably missed. There was kind of that whole section on the big table that had like b a big meal. That big meal, I'm gonna assume, was one of the heads. Look, we're so close. I Kutura we're really close, actually. Rooster chase had led him to Mr. Pink's place of employment, one magical clock tower at the heart of the land of time. The insides of the tower were stuffed with enormous, intricate gears. Do they really need this many? The this gears is mesh fun. together in order to transmit talk. You see, they're finely tuned to make sure that the hour and minute hands of the clock rotate at steady, accurate pace. Those rats are gonna also, kill me, probably, but this is fun. Footholds. Oh god, it's so hard! Okay. Can I kill the rats? No, I guess the rats are just there to make me suffer. Can I? I'm assuming that the uh, spikes here won't kill me, maybe? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, but I don't think I can. Oh, barely. I don't think I'm supposed to do that, but it worked out. Cheese! I see the cheese! I wonder if I get a cheese head for that. That worked out. I need to smash that cheese. Give me. Nope. I, apparently, that cheese is just there to be there. I guess I probably should have been on that. Yeah? Okay. My bad. I was a little too distracted by the cheese rat. I wonder, oh, do we blind mice? Come on. Oh, I missed it because he, I didn't think he was going to go. Gotcha. I didn't get anything for that. It was for no real reason. The What's that times weird clock apple thing? Oh, it's a... Which always kept oh, it's cute. Time and never had to be wound. It was scientific perfection. You just said it was magic. I'm just trying to create a little atmosphere, all right? If you want to be strange, go ahead and put every little story detail under a microscope in it. The rest of us will be having fun. Thank you. Ah, oh, God. Is the clock fixed yet? Use Mr. Pink. I want that land of time. Can't say it was what I expected to come out of that. I think it's broken now. Whoa. That worked out, and I don't care enough about that to go back, so we're done. The tower's stately exterior. Oh, I still needed a head. Decorated, which worked out well for Kutaro, who needed a path to the top. A baby! Gotta feed it. Sorry, baby. Hey, it's cute though, it's silly. We're gonna need more quarters. Whoa. It's fun. Mash him out. Did I miss my chance? Cause I Heads up! 
I might have missed my chance with that. Oh, no. Yep, you were right. Heads up. I feel bad for these baby crows. Don't laugh, audience. It's very sad. I got the rabbit head still. Nice. It's more convenient for me to not have to worry about that. Because those tornadoes were a little spooky. Kutaro was hot on Rooster's tail as the general tried to fly out of reach. Well, that's fun. Not really controlling much of that. You nasty little thing. Why would you fall? Ugly mug. What? It can fly? It can fly. They fly now? If I get all of you, will you give me something? Yes, gargoyle head. They don't look how I remember them from, uh... Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, my babies! You little jerk! Every egg of mine you smash! I'll smash back on you tenfold! You're gonna smash the egg on us? That seems rude. And not great for your babies. This is a fun climb. Pigeons, dual Mash him down. Come on. Oh, I can't get him. So close. One more. Perfect. Nailed it. Special bonus, baby. Well, we just got extra heads that I didn't really need, but it's fine. It worked out. We got Gargoyle Head, which I'm glad about, and Triceratops. Again, I think we missed some, like, meat or something. All of them? Just lets them move? Okay. I thought maybe it would be like a trick. Or like you had to do a specific order or something. Kutaro used the clock's internal mechanisms to climb even higher. I'm climbing good. I don't like that saw. Kind of worked out though. That saw wasn't too bad. Look, another cheese rat. Swift the calculated gear rotation, spring recoil, and pendulum arm, using the power of mathematics to cross the tower. Cheese rat can't do anything for me. Oh look, it's more like of him growing up. He used to be so cute when he doesn't talk a lot. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, wow. Surprise I made it. He was such a scholar, and then he had a little monocle on. Almost whiffed it. I see those rats up there. Dang rats getting in my way. his way past the endless machinery that worked tirelessly to keep Faster, Rooster! What is taking so long, you useless poultry? I don't really know how this is. Okay, I guess that's how it's supposed to work. Sorry, narrator, I interrupted you with hitting the clock. They're spinning. Damn it! Uh, I'm just going. I could have saved it a little bit. Because this is actually isn't that hard, it's just... Don't worry yes, about it. Ladybug! Uh, look at the pretty ladybug. See, we're using all the heads here, I'm glad. What is, uh... It moved. Oh, roulette. It roulette wheel. See, she even knows that she doesn't like it. What's with the other one? I guess this is, like, how many things you get? I like that the uh, skull and crossbones has a wrench. Something good? Well, it was actually okay, but. I don't like that she calls them weighty bugs. 
whatever, it was fun. We used the ladybug thing. I have not gotten good things from those roulette wheels the last couple times. Oh, this looks like the boss fight. After a long clamber, Kuturo had finally reached the top of the clock tower. Hey! Sitter, hero! I'm up here! He's been turned into a clock hand! Save me, please! Before the clock strikes twelve! Your time is up, Kuturo! Soon this world will be plunged into eternal starkers! I don't like that. Don't do that, Rooster. Oh, I already got the Rooster head from that. I don't like the way your claws are fiery. Okay. Lost my head. I feel like gargoyle head would be helpful here. Oh god, what even? Oh, you got a little baby blow up chickens. I didn't even see it. Alright. It's kind of hooked this better. I forgot I can move. That's part of my problem. I really want my rooster head back. Watch out for those little chickies. Damn it! I'm gonna just start over because I want to keep my rooster head. Oh, I don't even get to keep my rooster head. Shame. Probably doesn't matter. Yeah, so I just have to keep moving and not be an idiot. Oh, I, yeah, I'm clipping those wings. I got teacup back. Right, we'll live, I guess. If Kuturo didn't hurry, the crazed Chanticleer wouldn't be the half of his problems. Ooh. Stop messing about, you fool! Did Calibrus choose you or not? Undo the ropes that are binding me! Well, easy enough to deal with that. Maybe Gargoyle isn't so helpful. So I'd imagine being able to use a head would have happened already. However, the clock hands now just a few tick tocks away from the sinister stroke of twelve. Only brave Kutaro could avert the impending crisis. <laughs> We're doomed. Midnight is upon us. Damn it, I thought maybe I could the world will end. I should never have put my faith in it. I thought maybe I could survive that. What am I doing here? Just hanging out? I guess just hanging out. Alright, so I do need to... I guess that whole part was just a dodge roll. This part should be fine, because all he's going to do is move stuff around. Just takes some time. Oh my god, he needs to stop. Look at that, that gargoyle right there. See, like, that makes me think that that really is a uh, head. Maybe I wasn't in the right spot. Maybe I needed to be in that corner. And I lost my gargoyle head. It's fine. The boss is over. Like, right here, that gargoyle head looks like that should be something. He's on the road! Yo, check it out, he's like a phoenix. Look out, lad! Destroy his wing! I'll try. Just bombed it. Hurry! Time is running out! Kinda feel bad. I mean I've felt bad with most of these bosses, because we're just chopping off all of their bits. Hey look! Mr. Pink head. Check. Clock under control. Check. Nice job, Kitaro. Hello. What are you doing? I'm over here. Would you help me, please? Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. We're coming. <laughs> oh no! Wrong Little monkey man. fella. <laughs> Come on, help me, no! <laughs> what? No, you can't. <laughs> Well, everything's screwed now. 
As the clock struck 12, Dreamtime lurched into its darkest, most terrifying hour. Kotaro, look! The Earth! <laughs> you see, Kotaro! No, it's like a Death Star laser. will be locked in an inescapable nightmare! Their souls will be ripe for the harvest! They will make my master invincible! <laughs> Why not just make Mr. Pink not be on midnight? The gateway to her. Bring me those children souls. Kuturo's victory over Rooster felt empty. He should have known Monkey wouldn't play fair. And now that the damage was done, he was powerless to stop the long night to come. Even in the land of time, there was no changing the past. You don't know that. We'll time travel. We'll save everyone. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I missed at least a head. Hopefully just a head. With the help of Calibrus, Kuturo defeated the menace and saved And I did not save all the children. Few. Well done, Kuturo. The souls he freed were homeward bound. It's not great that they're homeward bound if, you know, darkness and evil is happening. Bad things, lasers from the clock tower. Not the best. Alright, let me see what I missed. I'll uh, hold off on the B bonus stage again just because the head's available. Oh, I actually got all of them. Nice. Good. I, uh, I thought that there was something I might have missed there, but... Not bad. I still think Gargoyle probably was for that section, but... We'll be fine, I guess. I can't wait to get the storybook for uh, Mr. Pink and not like it that much.